Hello people of YouTube and beyond, my name is Jay Hayes and welcome back to another video. Um, now this is going to be the long awaited room tour. Um, now as you can see I've completely got this wall behind me, I've completely got it filled with posters. Um, like I just spent some time over these last couple of weeks just putting them up and getting them where I wanted them to be and then figuring out where I wanted everything to go. Um, I am well on my way to getting this room to look how I want it to look. Um, obviously I've still got quite a while to go, there's still lots that I want to do in here. Um, but I've made, a, I've made good progress so far and I've made enough progress that I'm finally ready to show you. Um, so yeah, as you can see I've completely filled this wall with posters and I will show you my process of doing that. Um, and Deborah is right behind me. Um, she, is, she is literally slap bang in the centre of this wall which kind of worked out for the best really. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I suppose I'm just sort of going to show you what's been going on. But before we sort of get into that, I do want to say I am really sorry that I haven't uploaded in ages because in my last video I explained that we didn't have Wi-Fi and we, now we do obviously have Wi-Fi but we were in the process of uh, switching over our internet provider because the one we had was not working for us so we switched over to a different one. Um, so obviously we didn't have Wi-Fi for a couple of weeks um, and now we've had Wi-Fi for at least a week if not more by this point um, but I haven't got around to uploading the video because like I said I've been busy doing this um, but yeah so uh, I do apologise that I haven't uh, uploaded anything in what seems like forever I am sorry about that guys and obviously as you can tell in the, in the time that I've been absent I've taken my dreads out um, <laughs> I, I might put those dreads back in at some point and eventually I might really talk to you a bit more about them because I do love those dreads, they are my first ever set of woolies as I said. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. So yeah, I'm just going to sort of show you my entire process of basically redecorating this room. So I, I'm going to start with, I'm going to sort of take you through my thought process. So basically, that's the door. I started, alright, so I'm going to hold it. Yeah, I basically, I started putting out my posters. I started here. I literally started at the light switch and these three, um, these three are the first ones that I put up. Um, so I literally started from here and worked that way. Um, so you might be able to kind of tell. Um, uh, yeah, I started and then I literally worked this way. Um, yeah, which you can kind of tell because it's kind of spilled over onto that wall there. Um, like that's the last of them that I put up. And this is literally, uh, all of my posters that I've collected up until this point, that is all of them right there. That is my entire collection. Um, and even that many wasn't enough to completely fill these two walls. Um, but anyway, yeah, so like I said, Deborah falls slap bang in the centre of this wall. Which is kind of cool, actually. Um, and yeah. So I basically, like I say, I just started there and worked that way. And I kind of just worked around Deborah. Um, and it's kind of perfect actually because I was able to put my sans drawing up which I have never been able to put up until now um, I never got round to actually putting him up until now um, because I started like <laughs> this was when I was like obsessed with Undertale and I started drawing him when I was in the caravan um, and I meant to put him up in the caravan but I never got round to it so I've put him there next to Deborah, and then I've got a bunch of other stuff and I got, I got a couple of new posters as well like um, I got this Sid Vicious one, I got this Rock one, I got that Queen one. They're all new um, ones that are basically ones that I've had since moving from the caravan. Because um, bear in mind, we've been living in this house for a couple of months now. And in case you can't tell, uh, that's a thing on the. I've put a lot of stuff on the ceiling. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. So I've got my Born This Way flag, my Rainbow flag, my Punk's Not Dead flag, my Anarchy one. Um, yeah they're all up on the ceiling and I've got this weird skull candy girl thing which is supposed to be like a window sticker or a wall sticker I don't know I thought I'd put it on the ceiling <coughs> and then I got my big middle finger and I've got my CD rack which is what um, my iPad was standing on at the start of the video um, so I've got my CD rack with all of my CDs my CD collection is getting bigger as well and then I've got a bunch of photos um, so I've got like some of my prom photos, some other ones, uh, this one is when I first got my prom dress. Um, I've got some of me and my dad and my brother. Um, and there's some other ones down there that you can't quite see, that are hidden by the CD rack and I can't manoeuvre this thing because it's on the front of the camera. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I've got my big middle finger flag and then I've got some spider bunting from Halloween which I was, I was like, mine. And then i got some of this stuff. Whoa, shit. 
need to be careful that I don't fall over. I've got uh, this stuff up here. Um, this is a you probably heard. This is a ceramic paint splodge thing with my name on it. Um, you might have seen this. I don't know. Um, it's a little canvas painting of Septic Eye Sam, and that um, I'm not entirely sure who that is. Um, but a friend gave me it, and it's someone. I think it's someone kind of famous in the punk community. I can't remember. It might be Sid Vicious, I'm not entirely sure, um, I'm not have to ask him who that is, um, I'm not entirely sure who that is, so yeah, um, apologies if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, and then I've got, I've got my curtains from my old room, um, you, if, you, if you go back in my videos you might recognise these curtains, these are the curtains from my old room, we brought them with us, um, and so I'm so happy to have them and I got my, my dream catcher and everything. <laughs> Um, and then down here, I've got, if you can see it, I've got my little TV set up. Um, so I've got like my TV, my, my DVDs, my DVD player. I don't actually have something to put my TV on at the moment, so I've just stacked a bunch of boxes on top of each other and put it on top of that. Because um, I don't have anything, like any sort of unit or anything to put it on. Um, but yeah, the TV's new. Um, I got it from a friend, um, which I was very happy about. And then over here is... Um, that's, those are my shelves. That is a piece that I did um, in my art course, uh, and I was able to get all my art pieces back, so I put that up there. Um, that was one of the first ones I put up because it was so big, um, and I decided to put it in a place where there was lots of wall space. So I'll show you over here. These are my shelves. Um, so on this bottom shelf, I've got all my ornaments and stuff. These are just a bunch of random shit. Um, so I've got all my ornaments. I've got uh, my earring stand, um, just a yeah, bunch of random crap basically, I've got a couple of trophies, um, I've got yeah, I've got a couple of trophies at the back, I've got uh, hair grips, spare change, sharpies, uh, that's got all my ear stretches in it, um, yeah, just random stuff, and then up here is all of my books and a bunch of other random stuff. Um, yeah, primarily what I did was the bottom shelf was ornaments, top shelf was books, but then I just put a bunch of random stuff in and around it. So yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff up there. I've got uh, that has all of my stud earrings in it. I've got my speaker, some weird trinket boxes. I've got all of my um, e liquid because oh, sh that went well. Um, yeah, I've got all my e liquid because yes, I did vape once upon a time. I've got loads of books. I've got a, another Punk Not Dead flag, which is the same as that one up there. I've got two. So that one, I I don't, I never put it up. I just keep it um, and I take it to Nice and Sleazy with me. Um, which, yeah, you, if you watch my Sleazy vlogs, you'll know about that. But yeah, I take that to Nice and Sleazy with me and I put it up uh, outside my tent. And then these I got for Christmas. There's two of them. There's a red one and a purple one. I like these hair wax things. Um, yeah, I got them for Christmas. Um, but yeah, so there's lots of random stuff uh, over here. Is that's where I keep a lot of my jewellery. Um, well, I'll, some of it. There's some more like that's my mirror. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got all of my lanyards. Uh, some some pictures of me and my siblings when we were younger. Um, <laughs> Another one of my art pieces uh, that I did, um, and this is one of the few that I was actually really happy with, that and those, those two are ones that I was really happy with, so um, I decided to put them up on my wall. And this is a new thing that I'm doing, I'm basically doing a year in pixels or whatever, so basically every single day I'll colour in a different colour depending on my what, what mood I'm feeling, so for example there's a lot of orange on there, orange means happy slash content or like not really feeling anything and um, so I'll just colour it in orange if I don't really know what else to feel that day and then there's blue as well which means tired or fatigued and there's a couple of pink ones on there which means I'm stressed there's lots of random ones but yeah that's what I'm gonna do so I've basically drawn out this calendar and every single day I'm gonna colour in each day a different colour depending on what I'm feeling that day and then we've got all of my necklaces and coloured pens that I'm using for, for that um, so I've got all my necklaces, um, there's all sorts of random stuff in here, sorry I can't hold the fucking thing very well. But yeah, so this is all my necklaces, um, lots and lots of random stuff. <laughs> um, I've got another art piece up here, um, this is another one that I was quite proud of. Um, and sorry if the, if the iPad is moving as I speak and leaning against my chin. 
But yeah, another art piece. Uh, one of my birthday banners up there and a Slenderman poster. And then we're back to where we started. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if that was kind of like all over the place. Um, but yeah, so that is what I've got done in this room so far. Um, like I say, I moved my bed so it's facing that way now. Um, beforehand it was just, it was like facing that way, if that makes sense. So the head was like there and the foot end was like over there. Um, but I've, I've, I've moved it. Um, oh, that fucking head just kind of cool. Anyway, yeah, so, um, and yeah, that's my wardrobe, which I didn't show you, but it's not very interesting because it's my wardrobe. Oh, and also, yeah, um, this is my vinyl player. Where is it? Uh, I can't remember if I did a video on my vinyl player, um, but yeah, here it is with some hairbrushes on top of it. And I got my um, CD player, sorry, I'm Birkin. And then I got a box full of all my vinyls. Um, yeah, so that's how I ended up setting those up. And they are on top of like a uh, chest of drawers. Because there's only there is only two plug sockets in that room. There is one um, down there. Sorry about that. There is one plug socket down there in that corner, and the other one is like down there where the head of my bed is. It's like down there. Um, so there's there's only two plug sockets in this room. So yeah, one of them I used for my CD player and my vinyl player. The other one I used um, for all of my bedside stuff. Um, so I've got an extension cord plugged in and all of the stuff on my bedside is there and then I used it for all of my, my like TV corner as well. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to put you back there and I'm going to end the video. Um, right, uh, are we still going? Yeah, we're still going. <laughs> yeah, because my iPad has been a bit, a, bit, a bit of a dick, so sometimes it kind of stops when I don't want it to. Anyway, so... Um, I do apologise if that was all over the place, I'm going to have to watch it back and see how bad that was. Uh, right, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I think that pretty much does it for this video. Um, again, sorry I haven't uploaded in ages. Um, this video has been a long time coming since I got into this room. It's been like, what, like two months? Just over two months um, since I've been in this room. And I've only now, just now managed to... And show you, show you everything basically. And even then, there's probably some stuff that I missed out. Um, but yeah, carrying around a big, heavy iPad while it's on the front face of the camera is a bit annoying. Um, I can't switch it between cameras and while well, I'm recording. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> that pretty much does it for this video. It went on a little bit longer than I expected it to. But yeah, this that is the long-awaited room tour. Um, I, I don't know, I may do an updated version when I do more stuff in here, I don't know yet. Um, I, you, I, as you might have seen, there are still some bare walls, so I've still got some stuff to do in that regard. I'm still yet to divide what I want to do in that regard, because I've put up all of my posters, so I have no more posters to put up. Um, but yeah, so, um, I think that pretty much does it for this video, so yeah, as always, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!